All right. We'll go ahead and start on this first cap bead. We want to hold our rod about right there in the middle. You know, again, we got gravity pulling down on us, so we want to walk up and get it, drag it down. The main thing we're really looking at is making sure we're not leaving any undercut along the bottom uh, fabrication line there. Slippery, slippery. Slippery, slip. Very slippery. Tony, once you get past that awkward point, it goes in there nice. Is there something catching on the, the yeah, pole? That zip tie. <laughs> Like trying to push up against it every time it comes up. It's catching on the bottom of that uh, bottom pipe there. I have to readjust, man. <laughs> Things messing me all up. I'm cut it off. Let's just move it down the line a little further. There we go. Yeah, it keeps getting hung up on that pipe and won't let me won't let me rock up. See there, we got that nice gold color that we're looking for. I will. <laughs> yeah, you know, that gas being on, it's kind of crucial that uh, TIG weld process. Yeah, yeah it's crazy, huh? It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Never seen nothing like it. Still slippery. I know. Super slippery. Wire wheeling probably ain't helping it. Probably make it even slicker. Flip. That tight pattern going, huh? I know. Well, freaking pole. Stuff it out a bit. Uh oh. You've seen nothing. It's awful green over there. Nothing happened. I don't know.
still tight stuff. In. Yeah, yeah, it's real tight. I had to in the back. Yeah. Can't get that right angle. It'll be all right. We're gonna do a three bead cap. Most important thing on this uh, middle bead here: make sure our overlap's nice and even with our first bead the whole way around. Seven. I don't count that one. <laughs> Got me again. <laughs> Got me that again. Double shot. Oh, I like those. Wire if he's balling up. Balling up on you? Yeah, a little bit. Throw it up a bit. There you go. Looking pretty slick there, slick. Hey, yeah, it's alright. Start way back there. Mm. Uh oh. I'm just going to lose the conversation for you. I'm gonna get back off the losing side, get back over here to the winning side. Contacts are drying up on me. Yeah. I don't know. The tight walking was good. When I get over here, everything was all <laughs> lumpy lumpy. That's fine, I'm, I'm good. All right, here's the, uh, oh, zip tie. <laughs> hung up, man. here's the make it or break it pass right here. Ooh, that's slippery. Right now on this final bead, the only thing I'm trying really hard not to do is do any undercut on top. Eight, I mean nine. <laughs> that same spot every time. <laughs> I think we need to reevaluate this this pole situation after today. This thing shakes pretty bad. For the toe line. Top of the tail line, bottom of the tail line. All right.
torch is getting hung up on the damn pipe. Huh? Then my torch is getting hung up on the pipe. Get you every time. Nothing. I'm my best look. You're a little wonky in some spots. I know. Because that bevel was a little wonky. Right up in here. And then it gets real tight towards the front. I don't know. I think I'm definitely more consistent than you. And about right here is when I get hung up on this yeah. hole. I think consistency wise, I think I got you. You're a little wonky in some spots yourself. What about this spot right here where you missed the bevel? That's where I got hung up right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, win's a win. Well, you gotta see what the boss man says. <laughs> Call in our expert judge. Let him go ahead and uh, pick his winner. Chicken dinner. Where he missed the bevel. It's a close one. It's a close one. Hmm. I like this side here. I like this side too. It's a really close one. That's really tight. They look good. Hmm. Yep, I'd have to say. We can rock, paper, scissors for it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, probably. It's really close. They both look really good. I think both of them did an excellent job. I do see one little spot right over here. Uh, I don't know. It's close. It's very good. Very good on both of you. They did an excellent job. Dude, it was awesome, man. I yeah. had fun. For sure. Yeah. Do it again. We're going to call it a tie. I'm going to call it a tie. You guys agree? Is it a tie? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I, I, I got a few spots of undercut up here on top. Uh, I missed the bevel. And one He's got tiny a spot. spot. He missed the bevel. You know, patterns are pretty similar. Uh, you know. He's a little bigger here, and then he goes back to smaller. As the bevel. He got a little wide and then smaller yeah. again. Yeah. This side is a little consistent right here. You know, like right through there, that yeah. was that was pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the weirdest thing, too, yeah, because that's like, the that's part the, where you're like. Yeah, you, you get hung up right there, and you're just like, you got to walk it real <laughs> tiny. Yeah. Well, sometimes I feel like with stainless, you're almost better to try to keep a tighter pattern than really try to open your wrists up. I feel like you lose that puddle with stainless. It doesn't want to carry. You keep it nice and tight. It kind of burns. Yeah, yeah. It wants to burn back instead of fuse to the pipe. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So me and Ryan here, uh, we're now done with our weld off. And uh, of course, it was a tie because we're both great, awesome welders, in my <laughs> opinion. And so we just did a little three bead cap. We used how many beads for the fill? Uh, uh, four for the fill altogether. Four for the fill. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and here's our end product. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching today, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Appreciate it, guys. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. And if you want to stay up to date and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.